Today's quick look video includes an overview, pros and cons, fuel economy, MSRP, and other important bullet points to help you in your research process. Speaking of which, if after watching this video, you want to see the best prices being offered in your area on this vehicle or another, please use my free car shopping tool. There's a link below this video. Just fill in the make, model, and zip code, and qualified dealers in your area will pop up. Just choose which ones you want to work with, and you're good to go. If you don't find what you're looking for in your zip code, just expand your area. All right, here's today's video. Video. The Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport offers midsize SUV comfort and visibility in a stylish package. Based mostly on the popular Atlas three row SUV, the big difference here no third row, which in turn doubles your cargo space. When it comes to competition, there are a number of midsize two row SUVs to choose from. Here are some notable ones the Chevy Blazer. Ford Edge, Honda Passport, Nissan Murano, and Jeep Grand Cherokee, just to name a few. Now the pros and cons. Pros, chiseled good looks for good curb appeal, very nimble handling for its size, a tremendous amount of cargo space, up to 5,000 pounds of towing capacity, and an easy to use infotainment system. Some of the cons, lower fuel economy than some of its competitors, not very quick to accelerate even with the optional V6, and some rivals have more standard driver technology. This week we have the V6 SEL Premium, but here's the breakdown on all trim levels and price differences. The entry level S trim starts around 31 grand and comes with key exterior features like an engine start stop system, a four wheel independent suspension, 18 inch wheels, LED headlights, fog lights, LED brake lights, rain sensing wipers, and heated side mirrors. Inside the S trim level, you'd find cloth upholstery, a six way manual driver's seat, a 60 40 split full flat second row cruise control, front USB and 12 volt ports, 6.5 inch touchscreen, six speakers, Bluetooth, and a lot more. Safety technology includes forward collision warning with pedestrian monitoring, automatic emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, and rear cross traffic alert. For about 34 grand, the SE trim level adds leather upholstery, a leather wrapped steering wheel, 10 way power driver's seat, rear center armrest, dual zone climate control, USB ports for the second row, front footwell lighting, dynamic guidelines for the backup camera, proximity key, a eight inch touchscreen power lift gate, satellite radio, and wireless smart charging. Moving to the SE with technology, you go 36 grand, you get 20 inch wheels, a leather shift handle, front and rear parking sensors, a more comprehensive blind spot monitoring system, adaptive cruise control, remote engine start, and a hands-free lift gate. All right, now for 40 grand, the SEL trim. Features self-leveling and curve adaptive headlights, memory settings for the mirrors, a panoramic moonroof, heated steering wheel, driver seat memory, a digital gauge cluster, roadside detection, lane keep assist, traffic jam assist, automatic high beams, navigation, and heated washer nozzles. Now, if you're down for the top of the line SEL Premium, 46,500. It adds machined 20 inch wheels, power folding mirrors, puddle lights, chrome exterior accents, heated ventilated front seats, heated rear seats, second row manual sunshades, ambient lighting, a top view camera and parking assist. On the following trim levels, you can add the R-Line appearance package, SE with technology, SEL, SEL premium trims. This basically gives you a sleeker look with unique wheels, bumpers and side sills along with body color cladding. Now all trim levels come standard with a turbocharged four cylinder and an eight speed automatic transmission with Tiptronic manual shifting. A V6 is available on all but the two lowest trim levels. Both front wheel drive and four motion all wheel drive are also available. Now the base two liter four cylinder is turbocharged and gets 235 horses, 258 pound feet of torque. Fuel economy in the front wheel drive version, 21 city, 24 highway. The 3.6 liter V6 gets 276 horsepower, 266 pound feet of torque. With all wheel drive, it gets 16 miles per gallon in the city, 22 on the highway. With the absence of a third row, cargo space behind the rear seat is gigantic at 40.3 cubic feet, which is just shy of the Honda Passport's 41.2. For those that want the size and space of a big SUV but don't want to sacrifice drivability or style, then check out the midsize Atlas Cross Sport. It strikes a really good balance. While it doesn't offer the best fuel economy in its class, both engines provide plenty of power. And the optional four motion all wheel drive gives that extra peace of mind no matter what the driving conditions. This is a good pick for those who want excellent forward visibility and plenty of space for five or fewer passengers. Thanks for watching. Please 
click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.